If you're like me, you create a lot of presentations. You know, whenever I teach or whenever I present, I have a slide deck. But one of the problems that a lot of us have with slide decks is that even us people who can create them, we have a hard time just getting a good template and finding what we want. So I found a company uh, out in Seattle, Washington named Jackson Fish Market. I know it sounds like a funny name for a company, but stay with me. They have a new app, a free app called Slide Bureau. And you know what? It's all types of awesome. I'm not just saying that. I tested it and I'm going to give you my review of the app coming up next. Okay, now I'm going to test Slide Bureau. So when you first open up Slide Bureau, you get a few options. One of the options is you can browse the template boutique by just uh, clicking there. You can do look at one of my existing presentations or you can look at a new presentation. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, first look at the template boutique by just clicking there. Now, when I click at the template boutique, I can uh, sort by categories and these are the verticals that they have right now. And if I don't see something that I like, I can always click right here and it yanks me to their website and then I can choose a file option and go to their uh, template boutique. So that's a good thing right there. All right, uh, at least uh, submit a template that I really want. So what I'm going to do now is um, just go ahead and look at some of the features and some of the slides. So it's 165 templates as of this uh, taping. So um, you can sort them here. I can look at, you know, little bulleted ones like that. And I can show this one. So I'm just going through each one. These are the graphics. So let's go ahead. I like the business card one, the bell curve one, the black and white is really nice. So we're going to just choose black and white. And when I do that, it's going to actually give me instructions on how to do it. Tap my slide to add. All right. So black and white. So if I wanted to go here and just tap, tap, you know, type, um, you know, uh, my, and I'm going to type presentation. All right, so that's one slide right there. Now, if I wanted to go here and edit it and move it down and do some other stuff, delete it, I can do that. I want to go back here and change it. Now, remember, this is a template, so um, you just put text in these slides. You don't, you don't move the text around or do anything like that. So um, they have built these things to be very functional, and you cannot really break them. So. Uh, just my advice is stick with the template you like so i can go hit another one now one of the things some people may say well shouldn't all my slides look the same so slide bureau is not about having all your slides look the same this is an option if you want your slides to be very good and and, and graphical and things like that so here's one right here i like this one it's called it's a mobile world okay so i'm just gonna leave that one there then I'm going to add one more and then I'm just going to go here, the gold trim. Um, and let me show you how I, I'm going to add a photo to this. So once I download this one, it's going to upload a photo uh, to this one. Let me just make sure it comes there. There it is. So I'm going to double click on that and then I'm just going to go to my camera roll and add this. Now, what I like about this is that. I can go regular or I can go widescreen. All right. So I'm just going to go widescreen and see how it positions it. And I'm going to just crop it right there, go right there. And then there's my photo. Okay. So if I'm ready to look at this full screen, I can always do this my presentation and my slide. And then you can have the controls at the bottom as you see. All right, approved by the slide bureau. And then to, I could just put my name here. This is my test two slide. And now as you see, I can publish it. So when I publish it, like, well, where does it go? 
All right, good question. Glad you asked. So what I'm going to do is click there. You can link it. You can mail a link to yourself, and then you can see it in uh, action. So you can look at the link right here, embed the presentation, archive the presentation. So I can copy the presentation link right there, and then I'm just going to go right back into Safari, and then I'm going to paste the presentation link. All right, right here in my browser. All righty, I'm going to hit go. And now when it's in my browser, no matter what device someone looks on, as you see, it looks great. All right, I can also control it from my device. So, so that's it. That's the slide right there. Now, here are the options right here. All right, archive presentation. Um, if I want to do some more stuff here, if I look right here, and then remote control. Once I click there, I can hit remote control. So I can control the presentation uh, for you instead of you going through it. All right. So that would be a good thing if I don't want people to go ahead. Um, overall, I'm looking at the templates. They're really good. Um, and then let's go here under settings. You see that I have my name there. Uh, you have templates and they're introducing um, paid accounts at the time of this taping everybody gets their account right now uh, for free but you want to make sure that you can get on early so you can actually use all these templates so and this this, this is all web based by the way so um, you can see this anytime so let's go back here and go back to the boutique and then if I just want restaurants now I didn't even show you how the Google Maps works. so let me just show you the real estate one and that one is really cool property info sheet let's look at that one and how it has live data on it and I want to make sure that you see all of these uh, features because this is very very different than what you uh, have have used so say if you're a realtor you want to put a photo there so I'm going to put my photo back there that I use and say I was showing some property. All right, say if I'm showing that all right, there. All right, for sale land. Oops, I want to go here. Okay, hold on. There's my map up there. So, um, you know, I would type my address there. And once I type my address there, let us uh, let us just enter the name map. And once I publish that, uh, I will see the live information with see how I can move this map around live. This is live Google Maps that I can that I can pin to it. It shows exactly where I can go on the slide if I want to move around. Uh, you can't do that with a lot of slides. So I want to just say that using this live is pretty awesome. And um, so many different templates. And they're adding a lot more. Uh, Slide Bureau and Jackson Fish Market, the company, is very committed to this product. And really, um, I really commend them for the good work they have done with this. And this is a 1.0 release. And it's only going to get better. So um, that's all for that, for the layout. And I think that you would really enjoy using this program with the templates and uh, getting used to it and things like that. So try the app yourself. You can download the link in the description below. Tell me what you think about Slide Bureau. You know, it's your personalized template boutique. That's what they market themselves as. And you know what? The guys that I've talked to and the people that I've talked to over there at the company are really committed to getting all types of templates in the hands of the users. So they focus right now on education, restaurants, and real estate. But more templates are coming and you can customize. And once you're a customer, you can request any template you want. So tell me what you think in the comments and I will talk to you soon.